Hey there, I hope you can hear me alright. It's pouring rain outside. It's starting to let up, so I thought I'd try and do some recording. Um, I took um, the My Life Dolls hair out of her ponytail, and um, I got a comment on saying uh, from a viewer that um, her hair is so thin that it tends to tangle really bad, and um, she's probably right. I think she's the same doll as I got at the thrift store, and I had a heck of a time getting all of the um, knots out of her hair. But anyway, while I was at Walmart, I picked up a couple more pairs of shoes. I bought these ones here, and I'm going to use these today as our... Um, uh, sole. I'm going to, they're the same exact sole, there's no, they're the same shoe. So the right and the left and the left and the right, there's no difference. So even though it's a pair, it's the same exact shoe. Um, if you uh, line them up back to back, there's no left, there's no right. So I'm going to use this as a, um, and you see the tread on there? I'm going to use this as to make my mold and, um, then we'll pour some resin in there, and hopefully the rain will stop. Um, another one I got was this one right here. I bought these rain boots for $2, um, and look at the soles on these ones. Do you see them? See all the tread on here with the thing? I think that would make a really nice, um, a really nice uh, bottom sole. So what I did is I um, attempted one. And um, I just use my, um, this is one of my favorite, these are one of my favorite um, shoes. So um, these are the sandals that I made out of uh, beads and the uh, placemat and the um, floor tile. So what I ended up doing was, um, uh, <coughs> excuse me, taking a um, piece of uh, the thicker foam, this is the red thicker foam, I am... Um, Determined where my um, on this one. There's no. There's only two holes on this side, and two holes on the other side. And I ended up um, taking this and um, making a um, mold out of it. I punched holes in it, and then I pressed it into my mold. Um, I only did one side so far. I didn't do the other because I'm going to take the same one that I just made up, and I'm going to flip this and make another mold so I'll have a right and a left. Um, but that's only going to solve the top part of your uh, sole. It won't solve your bottom part. So I'm still going to have to come up with um, the bottom of the sole. But if you do it like this, I did it really thin and I made the mistake of um, uh, trying to sand down my um, edges with uh, the uh, uh, sand, the wet and dry sandpaper, and it ended up discoloring the um, resin. So I'm going to either have to paint it or um, uh, just throw this one out. But anyway, you can still do the same thing um, uh, with these as you did with the without having the resin tops. But you could do a top and a bottom without the holes and glue all those three pieces together and get multi-layered sandals. So if I really wanted to make this with um, uh, the purple, I could put a purple edging in there and then a resin on top and then a plain resin on the bottom and then just glue them all together. But um, this will help you with the, um, um, the placement on the um, sandals. And you have your mold so you can make them as many times as you want. Um, these were very simple. Like I said, I've only got the... Um, the two uh, um, two holes on each side of these sandals for it. this is the journey girl's foot, but um, you've only got the two holes on on each side of the sandal to make um, these pretty um, beaded sandals. And I, I I did last time I did the beaded sandals video I did it on the desktop and it didn't it wasn't a very good video so this is the right one, but. Um, that's what the beaded sandals look like. But this is a Journey Girls foot. I have only made Journey Girls feet. I haven't made the American Girls or the um, um, My Life, Madame Alexander's. Okay, so anyway, here was my first one. I read, I made my mold, and then I poured my resin. And you'll notice 
the rain starting again. You'll notice that um, I couldn't get the uh, amazing mold putty all the way up through the holes, but I got them high enough so that I could actually see where the holes were on the um, sole piece. So then I just took my um, uh, um, hole punch and I um, punched out with my smallest um, um, uh, hole punch and I just put the holes and it went right through the um, the um, mold and took the took the um, centers out of the resin. Uh, one thing I noticed that I wasn't aware of is um, you can uh, uh, use the wrong it's the resin I'm using is one to one, and when you do one to one, you're going to get a really, really hard, hard plastic. I can't bend that. I can't pull that out on the um, bra hook that I made. Now this one, I have no idea what I did, but when I mixed the resin, obviously the result wasn't one to one, and I've got pliable, I've got pliable resin now. This one's starting to break, but look at this. You can pull this and move it around. So I'm thinking that if I want to make, um, can you see that? I don't know if you can see white on white. But I'm thinking that if I could make um, a strip of pliable resin, you could make your own um, rubber uh, strips to go around your tennis shoes. And you can make them in any design you want. And I thought that was pretty clever. But I don't know if it's the clear that I use too much of or whether it's the... Um, uh, uh, the yellow that I used too much of to uh, make it a pliable plastic. But I thought, wow, if you can make pliable plastic, you can just about make any kind of trim on these shoes as you want to. You can make the, um, like on Converse, they have that um, uh, rounded section in the front. You could use that for um, making the Converse type tennis shoes for your dolls. But anyway, okay, let's get started. Um, I think the rain's letting up. So I'm going to start with um, uh, showing you how to make a mold out of this uh, tennis shoe, My Life tennis shoe from Walmart for $2. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to start on the mold first and then I'm going to show you how to pour the resin in. Um, for this one, I'm going to use the same amount of amazing mold putty as I did on my sandal, first sandal bottom and that was uh, 21 grams of each color. So I got my scale out and um, that's 0.7 ounces if you don't have a gram scale. I use grams because you get a more um, there's three three grams to every one tenth of an ounce so you get a much um, more accurate um, uh, weight if you go by grams instead of ounces. Okay, so that says 21. Should have been 21. It says, yeah, 21. It's right on the cusp. So let me um, just add a tiny bit more. Okay, so 21 and 21. I should have 42 ounces of amazing mole putty. And I do, 42. Okay, I've got my computer set. It's off screen right now, but I've got my computer set for two minutes. I'm going to mix, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, roll my putty out between uh, these um, sticks that I built up. Um, I bought a, um, when I moved here, I needed a new desk, so instead of going with the wood, I went with tempered glass because I knew I ruined the finish on my last desk. So tempered glass, I can work on paint and putty and whatever I want to and not worry about ruining the finish. Another nice thing with tempered glass is I can turn a light on underneath it and I'll be able to trace anything right through the glass on my freezer paper. So that's why I went with the tempered glass. And uh, I, I want this to last a long time. I didn't want to ruin the finish, so that's why I got the glass. Okay, so I'm using Jumbo Craft Sticks. I wanted something that I could... Because um, you're going to have to get this even. You're going to have to get... Uh, when you pour resin, it's going to pour flat. So you're going to have to get your mold as even as possible. And of course, I'm not using levels or anything. But if I um, 
roll my putty out between here and push this evenly down, I should get an uh, even surface on my um, mold putty because if it's not even and you pour your resin, you're going to get uh, a misshapen, you're not going to get a flat surface on your resin. So um, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about what we're going to do for the high heels. I think we may have to do that in um, parts where you do the heel and then the toe part and the, I mean the bottom part. We'll see when we get there. Okay, so I'm using uh, a quarter inch uh, on each side. I just taped four sticks together to get my quarter inch. I have a dowel. You um, Walmart sells a bag of dowels for a couple dollars and they're all different sizes. So we're going to roll our putty with um, this dowel just so we can get it even, even fix. Um, okay, so I'm going to start my timer and we're going to uh, make a mold and we're going to push it so we can get all of our little amazing mold putty in all these different crevices because that's what's going to make it so cute when we're finished with it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. Okay, here we go. I'm going to mix this for one minute. Get all of the white and the yellow mixed together as well as I can because that's what's going to turn it into your rubber mold. And what you want to do is you want to get all of the um, white streaks out of the putty. You want a nice even yellow color. Yeah, I'm down to 26 seconds. Okay, I think that's good enough. We're at 17. Okay, I'm going to roll it in a ball. Hope I'm not jiggling the camera. Okay. So it's in a ball. Now I'm just going to sort of flatten it like a pancake. I'm going to take it and I'm going to roll it through. Try not to get any marks in your ball if you can help it. And roll it out. I'm going to try and roll. Okay, so I've got my putty rolled out pretty well. Hopefully I should have tried to go a little bit bigger on one side. Okay, not enough. Let's just go without the, the... Maybe I didn't use enough putty. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so even out. I don't know if you can see that. Even out your... i got to go fast. Even out your mold and press. Press evenly down as well as you can. And as you're pressing, push all of this mold up against your um, shoe. Remember you're on a time limit. You've only got a few minutes to do this. You've only got like two minutes to do this to tell you the truth. So I used a stick. I'm already out of time. Hold it down while you put your putty up against that shoe. Okay, try to get it as even as possible. You've only got like two minutes to work it out. Point of no return. I'm too far. I mean, I don't have any time left. Okay. All righty. Clear the computer. Okay, I shouldn't have shut that off because we're going to need it for the. Um, okay, there's nothing I can do now until I um, let this mold set and harden up. Your demold time is 15 to 20 minutes. So let me see if we can see around this. Let me move the camera. Okay, so this is what I did. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, there's the shoe. There's the back of it. There's the side of it. I'm probably giving you a bad picture. And there's the front of it. See it all? Okay. 
So I'll be back in 20 minutes and we will mix up some resin and we will see how well we did on our mold. I'm sure hoping that we got all those little nooks and crannies in there. But we shall see. Okay, I'll be back in 20 minutes.